Hi, I'm Gibran from Cal TV. And I'm Lisa, and we're here to discuss the 83rd Annual Oscars. If you are looking for an exciting, spontaneous, and invigorating show, then you should have tuned into last week's episode of The Jersey Shore, because this year's Oscar ceremony was a snooze fest. In an attempt to appeal to a younger crowd, the Academy selected two young and hip actors. And that's where James Franco and Anne Hathaway step into the picture. James, I adore you, but your stoned I'm not interested act only works in your movies, not so much for hosting. Your best part was a unitard. And Anne Hathaway, who although looked nice in her many elegant dresses, aside from the last one which looked like a botched first draft of her upcoming Catwoman costume, was trying far too hard to pull off the down-to-earth everyday girl. And you're a Oscar-nominated movie star, so flaunt it. And speaking of flaunting it, I'm here with Samir on the red carpet to talk about fashion. Yes, every year at the Academy Awards is an incredible parade of the good, the bad, and the hideously ugly. So who are some of your favorites and least favorites this year, Lisa? Well, as you know, Kate Blanchett is my absolute favorite. Anything she wears is absolutely gorgeous. She could wear a paper bag and make it look amazing. Yeah, apparently she can make flesh-eating bacteria look gorgeous, too, judging from the design of those multicolored pearls all over her outfit. I guess you could say that, but, you know, it captured really well on camera, so. What were some of your favorite dresses? I really loved Haley Steinfeld, who was an Academy Award nominee for Best Supporting Actress. She looked absolutely adorable in that, in that dress, like a little princess. Like a ballerina, to go along with the white swan theme. Exactly. And our black swan, Academy Award winning Natalie Portman, I thought looked absolutely wonderful, pregnant and glowy. Right. In a lovely shade of purple. She's not 85 pounds anymore. She gained some of that weight back, right? She did. And what were some of your least favorite dresses? Least favorites, I would have to say the winner for Best Supporting Actress, Melissa Leo. That dress just looked like it was cobbled together from wrinkled tin foil and some of your grandmother's lace. Right. At least she'll have a tablecloth when she's done with the dress, right? Uh, what did you think it's going to do? Well, she sounded like she just pulled a dick out of her throat for years, but this time she actually looked it. Ouch. Well, Lisa, I think I've had just enough of this bitching about the fashions at the Academy Awards. Why don't I go join Gibran to talk about some of the people who actually won some awards? So, Gibran, uh, were you pleased with the results of the Academy Awards this year? Yeah, overall, I was pleased. I mean, there wasn't really any too many surprises. The King Speech won, you know, Social Network took a couple big awards. The acting awards seemed pretty uh, predictable, and overall, the, the people that deserved it won it. What about, uh, let's see, the Screenwriting <laughs> Awards? What did you think about the people who won for say, Best Adapted Screenplay, which was The Social Network, Aaron Sorkin. Yeah, I thought that was pretty obvious that I was going to win, and deservingly so. I felt that um, the difference between a good writer and an amiable hack was sort of made for us when we got to see the winner for the Best Original Screenplay, um, David Seidel, come up to accept his award. And he actually gave a very poignant, funny, and memorable speech to my mind. And then Aaron Sorkin, on stage decided to end his with a really pathetic quip about his kid's gerbil that was supposed to be funny but just sounded horribly desperate to me yeah. which seems typical of his screenwriting style he just wants attention yeah if only he had david fincher directing him on the stage maybe the dialogue would really maybe well or darren line. aronofsky yeah who well, was a little sad to see didn't win the best director nomination but i was also very pleased with the king's speech and i really liked tom hooper's actual acceptance speech also, I didn't realize that his mother had actually introduced him yeah, to that, that story. Cool, uh, that was a cool little uh, twist to that story. That, story, that, was, that was nice to hear. And what I is it about the Brits, man? So, Samir, what do you think about the Cinematography Award? Any surprises there? The only surprise for me was that a movie that had a large percentage of its action done on a green screen rather than filmed on location actually was up for a Cinematography Award. I feel like if a green screen is your location, then you should be up for Best Animated Feature, not for Best Cinematography. Well, that's all we have to say about this year's Academy Awards. I guess until next year, Gibran. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Goodbye.